Hi, my name's Devin, and you're watching Continental Kennel Club video. Each year, lists of the most popular dog breeds showcase Labs, Goldens, and Yorkies. Well, what about those breeds that you've never heard of? Well, today we're going to tell you about the forgotten, rare, and downright strange breeds. And starting off this list is the Cherneco del Etna. This Italian hound was bred for endurance hunting. With its long legs, small frame, and sleek head, it looks like a small dog wearing stilts. But this body type, along with a keen sense of smell, helps the Cherneco del Etna hunt rabbits in the Mediterranean. Number 2. The Koiker Hund. The Koiker Hund was originally bred in the Netherlands as a duck decoy dog, and they have famously appeared in artwork dating back to the 17th and 18th century. Its heavily white plumed tail waves jauntily to entice and lure ducks to follow it into Eden Koi. Eden Koi, which roughly means duck cage or duck decoy, is an elaborate man-made pond trapping system, and it's where we get the English word decoy. The literal translation of Koiker Hund is Little Caging Dog, which makes sense because the purpose of the dog is to trap ducks. Number 3. The American English Coon Hound Also known as the Red Tick Coon Hound, this dog sounds like it has an identity crisis, and its background doesn't really help either. It can trace its ancestry back to English Foxhounds, and later it was developed by Thomas Walker and George Washington. Yeah. That George Washington. The American English Coon Hound shares a lot of its history with the Tring Walker Coon Hound, and in fact, the breeds weren't even officially separated until the 1940s. Number 4. The Finnish Spitz. By the late 1800s, this rare breed was almost extinct, but luckily it was rescued by two hunters who began breeding the dog to hunt a variety of small and large game. This breed is known as the National Dog of Finland and is still used there today to hunt birds. But more importantly, the Finnish Spitz breed holds records in barking competitions, able to bark over 160 times in one minute. Number 5. The Glen of a Mall Terrier This wiry terrier has an interesting history. It was developed by French and Hessian mercenaries in Ireland that were sent to put down a rebellion by Elizabeth I. After the rebellion was taken care of, the mercenaries settled the area along with their small hounds and bred them with local terriers. This eventually led to the glens that we see today. They were originally used for controlling rats, foxes, and badgers on farms, and they were bred to be silent hunters. Myths of these dogs being used to churn butter and turn meat over fires have been shared for generations, although there's not much evidence that this was the case. The breed almost died out entirely, but is now being revived. Number 6. The Chinook This breed is so rare that even our Google overlords have a hard time knowing it exists. If you Google search the name of this breed, you'll find results for a twin-engine helicopter for wind conditions seen in prairie lands of North America and a tribe of American Indians before finding any information about a dog breed. The Chinook is a hardworking dog which was once on the verge of extinction and is still one of the rarest breeds around. Number 7. The Azawak Hailing from West Africa, this sight hound is an ancient breed of dog that looks like a small dog's head glued on a big dog's body. Originally bred as hunters, they became livestock guardians due to the lack of game in the area. The Azawak are almost immune to heat, but they do hate cold and rain. They're very social dogs, and if you're lucky enough to see one, you might find it cuddled up with a sibling. Number 8. The Dandy Denmont Terrier Known by some as the gentleman of the terrier family, this dog was originally bred to hunt otter and badger. The Dandy has the distinction for being the only dog breed named after a fictional character. Dandy Denmont was a farmer in Sir Walter Scott's book Guy Mannering, published in 1815. In the story, Denmont owned several terriers matching the description of this breed, and he himself was based on the actual originator of the breed, James Davidson. Number 9. The Commodore here, we see a mop in its natural habitat. Wait, that's the Commodore. This is a large Hungarian sheepdog that can trace its ancestry back to the 12th century. Those beautiful locks you see are formed naturally as the dog matures. Its soft and fluffy puppy fur eventually begins to curl, and these giant mops can grow to be 30 inches tall and weigh up to 110 pounds. And our last breed is at number 10 is the Alaskan Klikai. The Alaskan Klikai is a fairly new breed that was developed during the 1970s and 1980s, but it was not even available to the general public until 1988. 
which was actually only the second best thing to come out that year because it's not die hard. This dog was developed by breeding large scale sledding dogs with Skipper Keys and American Eskimos in order to create a more lap sized variety of Siberian and Alaskan Huskies. And if you have one of these rare breeds, let us know and you can even send us a picture on Instagram or Twitter. Please like, subscribe, and share. And also, let us know what your favorite movie from 1988 was in the comments below. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for clicking subscribe. If you like this video, check out one of our other videos here. I mean, a lot of good movies came out in 1988, but the two best Christmas movies ever, Die Hard and Ernest Saves Christmas, were definitely 1988. It's a good year for Christmas.